Hey, what's up, Aaron here? Hope you're doing well. If you're watching this video right now, you might be checking out this website right here called Research Eye. And maybe you're wondering, can you actually take part in research and get paid, right? Sounds good, yeah? Let's check it out. Let's see if it's legit, whether it is fake, whether you can really make money from this. Let's check it all out. Now, at any time, if you want to get my favorite way to get to $10,000 a month or more, 100% from home, just click the link below and I'll share with you my favorite strategy. Now, on this channel, I have reviewed hundreds and hundreds of different make money online strategies. Some of them are okay, some of them are so-so. A lot of them, though, a big waste of time. So let's check out Research Eye to find out how good Research Eye is for you to start making money from home, all right? Now, Research Eye is basically a research company that allows you to make money by taking part in different tests and surveys and interviews. Very, very cool, okay? Now, a lot of them are based around uh, video games, but not all of them are, right? Now, the only thing about Research Eye, unfortunately, excuse me, unfortunately, is a lot of it is based around in the UK. So if you're not in the UK, it might be a little bit difficult for you to get access to these tests. I think for some of the tests, they do cover uh, Europe, but outside of this area, unfortunately, you can't take part in the test, but don't worry, stick around. I'm gonna show you a couple of other websites where you can take tests and surveys and still get paid, and then I'm gonna show you my favorite way to earn actually pretty big income online, right? So watch till the end of this video. Now, if you wanna get access to Research Eye, it's just researcheye.co.uk. You can uh, sign up through here, and once you sign up, okay, you're gonna be able to get access to different types of projects. So very simple, you register, you take part in the, in the uh, uh, you know in the different tests the opinions and I'll show you a little bit more and then you can get paid quite a lot of money for these tests all right so I have reviewed a lot of different um, product testing style websites and most of them don't pay this much. A lot of them will pay between $10 and up to about $150 is the highest that I've seen. These guys will pay between 40 pounds and 600 plus pounds. But I'll explain to you in a second why some of the projects allow you to make so much money, okay? Now, the nice thing though, is if you are based in the right location like the UK, you can get access to a lot of different styles of tests like group discussions, one-on-one -on -one interviews, website testings, game testings, online diaries, telephone interviews, in-home uh, you know, interviews, app testing, product testing, remote interviews, really, really decent. So a lot of different options, right? Now, if you come to the project section on the top, let me show you some of the projects that they like to do, okay? So a lot of them are video games, but not all of them are video games. So for example, this one right here, Online Fragrance, is a, it's about, um, you know, learning how to, you know, uh, you know, discern different online fragrances, things like that. They're currently recruiting people, you can see here, but this is only in the UK, okay? This is for um, the September uh, of 2024. If you go inside, they will give you a little bit more, you know, um, ideas of what this is. Again, you can, you know, sign up right here, but you have to be based in the UK, unfortunately. Again, don't worry, stick around. I'm going to show you some other ways if you're not in the UK to do this, right? And they pay here via PayPal or Bax, which is basically bank transfer for, for the UK, 80 pounds. Really, really decent. Okay, they've got all the different dates. You can sign up right there. That's just to give you an idea, right? They've got a lot of gaming ones too. Check this one out, right? Five day game test, central London, 500 pounds, but you have to go there in person, you have to be available for five days, and you have to be a little bit of a gamer, right? This one's closed, but let's just have a look and see some of the details of this, right? Um, oh, it doesn't give you much details right there, but there are a lot of these, um, you know, actual sign up projects where you've got to be there in person, so you got to move quickly on some of these things, okay? So you've got some, a lot of, uh, you know, gaming ones here, multi, three day multiplayer, 400 pounds, it's pretty darn good, right? Two and a half mobile gaming test, 90 pounds, a lot of them are based in the UK, in London, for example. This one already closed, right? So let's check out some of the other ones, okay? So let's just say you've got website tests, okay? Let's have a look at the website test ones. Um, again, TV, movie, screening, credit card, research, but some of these are closed. So you do need to be a little bit lucky and you do need to be a little bit quick to find out the ones. And, and what I would do is I would, you know, kind of come in and just go through a whole bunch of them to see which ones are actually available. As you can see, a lot of them are closed, unfortunately, right? And that is kind of the problem with product testing, okay? It's not that you can't get paid. You can if you get lucky enough to get chosen for the tests, right? You also have to be in the right location, but it's also about supply and demand. Sometimes you don't get access to a lot of tests because they have a limited amount of pool. Maybe they only need 10 people 
for some tests. Some tests, they might only need 50 people. Now, if this is the whole of the UK, you can imagine there are millions and millions of people in the UK um, you know, taking a look at this website, so they get filled up really quickly, right? And that's kind of the problem with taking product tests, is that if you get access to them, then you get paid, but if you don't get access to them, which is really the issue, you're not going to get paid, right? And so the strategy here is to get access to a lot of different product testing websites, not just one, okay? So Research Eye is pretty cool when they have stuff available, but as you can see, a lot of them are closed and they get that they get filled up really, really quickly, okay? But the nice thing about Research Eye is that they've got a very good, they've got very good uh, feedback, right? Only seven reviews, but with Trustpilot, if it's anything over four stars, it's generally really decent, okay? So um, I've been through the reviews, all seven of them really, really good, okay? So if you can get access to the projects and you're based in the UK, I think that this is one of the better product testing websites, but the problem is, is that they get filled up really, really quickly. So you have to just keep a close eye on the website every single day if you're based in the UK and just come back and check it, right? Now I'm gonna show you a couple of other ones if you're not based in the UK or if you're based in the UK, you can sign up for these as well. One of the really popular ones is called usertesting.com. Okay, it's very similar. The difference with this one though, is that you're testing apps and websites. They be pay between $10 and $150 per test. A lot of them though are, are kind of hover around $40 to $50 per test, okay? So definitely sign up for user testing. Another really good one, Furpection, okay, Furpection. This is a UX research consulting company. And again, they test out websites and apps. And what you would do is you would record your screen, you would test out the app, and you would basically voice out your opinion as you're going through the app to give them some feedback on exactly how you feel about that experience on the actual app. So I would sign up for all of these three if you wanna get paid by doing product testing. Product testing is a pretty cool way to make a little bit of money, but please remember that because there's always a limited tests, right? It's not like you're going to be able to make thousands of dollars. This is kind of like, you know, if you get a test a week or a test a month, you're, you're pretty lucky already. Okay. And that's generally the way. So, you know, even if you sign up for a few of them, I mean, you're looking at about maybe 50, a hundred dollars extra a week if you're lucky. So that's maybe 200 to um, 400 dollars extra a month that you can make from product testing right again you do have to join multiple sites um, so it's not life-changing income but it's a little bit of a bonus it's definitely going to help out to pay for the groceries to pay for your bills maybe you can take you know have a, a nice meal in a nice restaurant so that's what you should generally look at product testing websites for so if you want to check out research I it's just research co. UK. Okay. Now, if you're here watching this video right now, maybe you're looking for a way to make bigger income online. On this channel, I've reviewed so many different strategies. I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. But out of all the good ones, I used one strategy specifically to quit my full-time job in April 2019. I actually used this strategy um, to five times my old corporate salary. I do it full-time from home right now. That's why you can watch me doing this video, right? It's because of this particular strategy. If you would like to learn it, it's 100% online and it's great for beginners. You can do this from anywhere in the world. Just click the link right at the bottom and I've got a free masterclass that will show you step-by-step -step exactly how I did this, okay? I wish you all the best. I hope you're doing well and I will see you on another another video review. Take care.